Welcome back one and all, it's a Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we did some busy work for the school council, did some side questing. I was unable to buy the healing arts for Emma, however I did have some extra quartz lying around that I could just move and jump around as needed. Let's do this. I'm going to bring in Emma and Machius. Bring in Crow. Now for support will be Elliot for an extra healer. And Fee because I like using Fee. Let's do this. Last, this is the middle last chapter then. Let's do this. The final floor. Six elements. Six points. Hexagram. But it looks like it goes down even further than that. Save and charge. All right, let's get exploring. And monsters. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is this thing? No, seriously. What is this thing? Now's our chance. Let's. Oh My god, turn. one of those fiends. Just not uh -huh. even wanting to deal with Leave that. Leave it to me. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Dance, flames. It's my turn. They can't link? Wonder what their problem is. Whatever. Go. That's weird. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. It's my turn. My turn. That's a little strange. <laughs> Handsome and strong. I'm the total package. Oh, a treasure chest. A trapped chest, but I can't get past these barriers. Okay, the switch get yeah, the switch gimmick again. Oh, one of these things. Lower down that wall. Which means now I can go back out and around. Let's see what that was about. Hey! 
god, these things. I do not want to deal with these. I feel like I'm going to. And I got a level up in that. Always good to see. So what was? Oh, there's still more walls. So this will probably lead me to my destination, but not till I get all the walls dealt with. Let's keep moving. Raven hit level four. That was annoying. I'm not a fan of those fiends. At all. Not in the fucking slightest. Okay. Oh. What a nice looking treasure Holy chest. Breath. That went well. Flip the switch again. Come on now. Oh no, another one of these. Die! Uh, force hit a new level. Flawless Jewel. CP plus 25 on enemy kills. Oh, that's good. And a strength boost when hit health goes low. An A plus out. Machius, yeah, more of that. Crow. <laughs> I did Elliot, it with success. And Fee all got level ups. Back to the criticism earlier from way earlier that these levers I'm supposed to find should stand out a bit more. I mean, seriously. How is anyone supposed to see them if they're not prominent? Lever. There it is. These things really should stick out more. That's all I'm saying. Monster respawned. It would be one of you. I did it! Okay. Okay. 
Back around. Oh man, we're still not through. Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. Okay, I can fit. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, Cypher just hit level four. Hello, Crow. Chrono Break. And random status effect at 60% chance. And an extra 10%. Cause status down. Making progress. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. Okay, I'll speed this up. Well, I'm gonna switch Emma out for Elliot. And Machias, you go in for B. Pull the lever! That was only a little bit annoying. Yet again, those things block my path. Okay. All I'm gonna do is keep moving. There's still more map to reveal. That's the way I came. Easy to get turned around. Another lever. Another one of you bastards! No! Please hold your Pro A plus out. And Machias. Oh, the level, huh? I'll be right behind you. All right. Elliot Success. and Fee got a level in that. And there's a treasure over here. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. What do you have? Shadow Blade. Um. Sure. 
Oh, I got a lot of these from those blue salamanders. So that's pretty cool. Just increase your movement all together. Get to the depths and fight the boss. No healing? Oh boy. Well. Alright, we're finally through. Oh good, there is. Two of them. This one's nasty. Watch out. My turn. Okay, first things first. Set up. All right, sport. let's do this. Back yeah. your thing. Right. Give it up, everyone. My turn. Here. Go for the debuffs. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. I don't like the. Uh... Leave it to me. Well. Let's see. Oh, oh this is good. Armor. Catch. My turn. Here. There you go. Silky dead. Let's go for all the X-Brakes. Going down easier than the last boss, I'm noticing. My turn. My turn. Too slow. Right. My turn. Oh, I'm sealed. That's not good. Ha! Leave it to me. You're also sealed. Bang, bang, bang! Now! Let's 
go for the burst. I'll handle it. Okay. Here we go. Finish it off. Cross Crusade. No, oh, hung on. Okay, never mind. That's that. Let's keep moving. Couple levels on that. Right. Green. Making progress. Emma. They weren't that bad, honestly. Not really. They're a lot easier than the last boss. Yeah, I agree. Counter-attack, auto-tear. Real disappointing. That last boss I fought in here, that was rough. That was not an easy boss, but this was. Machius and Crow couldn't form a link. Hmm. Celine? Wonder what that was about.
Scarecrow is on the other side. In the classroom and all that. What are you doing here? Let's get started. So I actually get to play around with him. Go on, draw a card. You're first. Same score? Gotta redraw. I'm up first. Take this. No, oh, seriously? You fell for it. I'm sure. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that. That was a good match. How about you pay back the 50 mirror you borrowed first? Y you tricked me, didn't you? Psychological warfare. Hmm. No bets this time. Okay, now let's go hang out with Toa, who's just on the other end of the corridor. Doesn't sound like she's here yet. Oh. She fell asleep. <sighs> At least she's getting some rest. Must be a rare treat for her. What to Aww. do, though? I almost feel bad about waking her. Wake her by poking her cheeks? Sure. On the other hand, she might not want to be left sleeping like this either. That's really not good for your Still, back. she seems really cozy napping there, so I don't want to just jar her awake or anything. Sorry, but if I don't wake you up, I could end up being here all night. I guess I'll just read a book or something while I'm waiting. You're a true gentleman, Rain. The 
jacket. Um... Oh, hey, you're awake. Huh? Reen? Oh, right. I came here after the conference was over. So this jacket is... Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't apologize. It's quite all right. I can't believe I fell asleep after asking you to come all the way here. <laughs> don't worry about it. You're doing me a favor here. I appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule for me. Aww. Why is it that you always seem to catch me at the weirdest moments? Still... Thanks. No problem. Glad to do what I can. It wasn't too hot, was it? No, of course not. It felt really nice and warm. But, but anyway, th that's not the point. Now, listen here, Reen. Huh? You're awfully cute when you're flustered. I, I mean, lending me your jacket was very sweet and gentlemanly of you, and I'm kind of happy you did. <laughs> but it's not very gentlemanly to sit and stare at a girl when she's sleeping, you know. Uh, I'm sorry? I did try to wake you up once, but you seemed so relaxed and peaceful that it would have been almost too cruel to go through with it. But I guess it was inconsiderate of me to just let you nap there. No, 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 no! I'm not annoyed with you. It's just kind of weird to randomly watch people sleep, you know? If it was someone else, they might have misunderstood. so I could show you more about the concert we put on for last year's festival. Oh, you mean the one you did with Angelica, Crow, and George? Do you have some record of it here? <laughs> Actually, I do. George was testing out some kind of orbital video camera that was being developed by the Ruhr Institute of Technology. And we've still got the recording here. An orbital video camera? Yeah, the technology is different from what they use for the orbital net. Actually, it's probably faster to just show you. Let me bring it up on the screen. Oh, you've got pictures of it. <laughs> More than just pictures. Just watch. Amazing. I know, right? It plays back images and sound at the same time. So it's like a radio and a camera combined. They have friggin' computers, but this is new technology. The quality might be a bit rough, but it really feels like you're right there, doesn't it? <laughs> it's really something else. <laughs> oh, there we are going up. Oh! <sighs> That's probably why she's embarrassed. You, you could be wearing a little more, but I would prefer if you were... Isn't it cool? It's called Rock. It's making a splash in the music scene abroad. I like some we use Orville audio technology to amplify guitars for it. It's a pretty bold sound, huh? It definitely is. And, uh, speaking of bold, how about that outfit? Uh, I forgot about the outfit! Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Reen. Don't look at that. Just focus on the performance. This is... Please wear a jacket. I'm more like J-pop. Bravo! That was incredible! I wish I could have been there to see it in person. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, so was that any help? Help? This is exactly what I was looking for. I'm not sure if we can put together something as flashy as this. But we do have Elliot, and he knows his music, so I think we might have a chance. I'm glad to hear it. Crow was the one who planned all of this out, so he's the one you should ask about how to put a program like this together. Angie did our choreography, and George got all the instruments together for us. I'm sure they'd help out if you asked. I think I just might. We have to get our preparations for the festival underway. Copy of the video onto this memory course for you too. 
If you put this memory quartz into the orbital projector here, you can watch the video anytime you want. Maybe you can bring everyone from your class here and show it to them tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for everything, Toa. I mean, I asked for help, but you really went above and beyond. I don't... You're always looking out for me, Rain. It's the least I could do. Besides, I'm sure this idea will spark some... lively discussion within your class. It's not... But I'm really curious to see how things turn out. Me too. memory drive. I really need a stopping point. Yeah. panic Martial arts demonstrations, okay. I call judge. Oh my lord. Get out! <laughs> Can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they see it. Though I imagine Toa's outfit might raise more than a few questions too. Yeah. 
Oh, it's nine already? Abend time should be on soon. I'm Misty and this is Radio Trista. It's 9 p.m. on the 19th of the ninth month. <laughs> if only I was dressed to the nines to match. It feels like we're finally getting the break we deserve from a long string of uncomfortably humid nights. That's right, fall is finally here, and it's brought its cool night breezes and gentle chirping of insects with it. Along with that respite, Erebonians everywhere are turning to their true autumn passions, food, and sports. What do all of you out there look forward to when you realize fall's almost here? For me, it's definitely the food. The crops come into season, ready for the harvest. I can only imagine how much work it has to be for all those farmers. A lot. But I can't wait for my first roasted chestnuts of the season. It's just about time for those to start popping up too. Sure, I'll never turn down a Marin Glacé or a Mont Blanc, but roasted is the way chestnuts were meant to be. Ah, <sighs> that soft, melt-in-your-mouth taste. That sweet fragrance. Simply irresistible. Whoops! The director's over there giving me the stink eye. Someone hasn't eaten dinner yet, I'll bet. <laughs> anyway, fall is also known for being a season for the arts. One of the Empire's most popular cultural institutions is the opera, and no one does opera like Heimdall's famous opera house. But as far as music goes, I'm a sucker for the classics. I still sing along whenever I hear the whereabouts of light. I stare in disbelief. As you fade away Like a dimming star beneath the coming day That very well could give yourself away. <laughs> Whoa there. Almost felt like I was in my shower back home. Speaking of music, some fresh new genres have been gaining popularity lately, both at home and abroad. She really does have a pretty voice. Though I guess you kind of have to in order to be a big opera singer like that. I don't know if singing on the air like that is such a good idea if she's trying to keep her identity under wraps, though. I just said something I've like that. I've got a practical exam coming up next week, and another field study over the weekend. Sounds like things are going to be even busier than usual. I'd better brace myself for an exhausting week. Is it just me, or could these PlayStation 4 controllers be a little larger than they are? I have pretty big hands, and they don't, they, I mean, they're comfortable enough, I suppose, but... I don't know, they could form better to my hand. I think that's just the opening theme. Whoa. That was cool. Very impressive. Neat. It was certainly a technical display. But if you think we're going to put on outfits like that and prance around on stage, you must be dreaming. Well, the outfits all depend on what kind of performance we put on. The clothes have to fit the mood of the music. Right, Crow? Yeah, we did a rock song last year. So if, so if our outfits didn't scream, ROCK! The whole performance would have lacked something in my opinion. And though in my infinite wisdom, I'd like to point out that revealing outfits will be popular regardless of the music. I like how Reen was practical and Crow just wants to see Elisa in something skimpy. I'm no Virtuoso, but I can play as long as the music's not too complicated. Her grandfather taught her violin. A sitar. That's a interesting weapon, to say the least. That's an Indian weapon, I believe. Been playing it for years. I'm gonna look that up real quick. 
sitar is, like I said, it's a bit weird. A sitar is a plucked string instrument. Yes, Indian, that's what I thought. It's kind of like a guitar, only it's got a small bass and a long neck, and you play it while you sit. I can play the piano, so with four of this, it looks like we have our instruments covered. Yeah. I'd still say like a sheet, like a Celtic shanty could work. And that's not just because Leave Her Johnny is stuck in my head, and it has been for a week. Okay. Nothing skimpy. Oh my God! Okay, I'm going to end this one here just as soon as I get control. Okay. Yep, we've got that shit on lockdown. Save us all. <laughs> How old are you again? Aren't you in your mid twenties? Even if you were five years younger, graduation would still be years behind you. Hush, you. For us ladies, everything up to the mid-twenties is just a warm-up, and men, they're like fine wine, better with age. I'm not sensitive about it, really. This is just another valuable life lesson that is my duty as your instructor to, to impart. Right, I'd say you're about 25, 26. Okay. Not only do you have no field study next month, it looks like you're off the hook as far as practical exams go too. Last one for a while. Am I fighting her? Yeah. Okay, I'll be doing this next time. Join me then on Trails of Cold Steel as I duel Sarah. But until then, I am the Dark Sarah, signing off. Holy shit, this is going on for a while.